Explore the data visualization tool for IHME's new star rating system, Burden of Proof, designed to help people make informed decisions about certain behaviors referred to as risks and health outcomes. The Burden of Proof project analyzes the strength of evidence for links between risks and health outcomes. Becoming familiar with navigating the data visualization will help the users get the most from it. The visualization consists of two tabs, Compare and Risk Curves. The Compare tab shows information for each of the risk outcome pairs assessed in the Burden of Proof project. Clicking on the arrows in the bottom right corner allows users to go backwards and forwards through the list of risk outcome pairs. Placing the cursor over the info icon to the right of each column heading opens a small window with information about that column. The risk outcome pairs are sorted by risk outcome, or RO, score, star rating, from highest down to the lowest. Clicking on the arrow to the right of any of the column titles will sort the data differently. In this case, clicking the arrow alongside RO score reorders the risk outcome pairs from highest RO score to the lowest. You can refine the risk outcome data using the filter control in the top left corner for a quick overview of a subset of risk outcome pairs. Select the smoking filter to see all smoking related data. Clicking on the data type button for any risk outcome pair will open the risk curve graph for that pair. The risk is shown on the x-axis and the outcome is shown on the y-axis. Clicking on the chart settings icon in the top right corner of the graph offers a variety of advanced options, including changing the risk range, outcome scale, and study risk certainty for either axis. To the right of the graph, the risk outcome score and star rating are shown, with a brief description of the findings. Underneath, a legend enables the viewer to customize the graph for that risk outcome pair. Options include deselecting study data, the relative risk curve, or either of the uncertainty intervals. Wherever the info icon can be seen, the cursor can be used to view extra information. Placing the cursor over a study data point also reveals additional information. Clicking on it will show the study authorship citation in the bottom right-hand corner. You can click on the icon to the left of the study information to learn more about the study itself. Drop-down menus above the graph for both risks and outcomes enable the viewer to select a different risk or outcome and see which risk outcome pairs are available for that topic. IHME will add more risk outcome pairs and update current data as new studies are included in its analysis. We encourage you to check back regularly.